but the big state championship football game between Jinx and Union has now wrapped up. Winter weather, of course, forced the game to a new time and a new location. Two News reporter Dan Perlman's live at Chapman Stadium now with more on how things ended up. Dan? Well, well, Russ, like you said, the game here just ended a couple of minutes ago. Jinx won more on that, though, in just a bit. First, in order for all of this to happen, a lot of men had to put in a lot of work, and the fans loved it. Before kickoff, before fans found their seats, trying to clean the aisleways. There was scraping, there was salting, there was blowing. A two day effort. Just trying to make an event happen. For the big game. You ain't going nowhere! Ah! This is Union and Jinx. They know winning. Since 1996, one or the other took home the title state champs. Really excited! <laughs> so, with just a little snow left on the field and in the stands, some bundled up. Others nothing. Nothing. didn't have much. Traditional Scottish kilts. Kilts? To symbolize freedom yeah, and unity. Want. A good idea. I think we're rational. Well, the women weren't impressed. Barbaric. <laughs> Better fans than we are. <laughs> but tonight, it doesn't matter. It's balmy out here. It's the game is finally happening. <laughs> this is for state. Stick with us because Big Al is actually in the stadium right now. He is going to be out here in just a little bit to give us a recap on what happened. Live in Midtown Tulsa, Dan Perlman, 2 News. Works for you.